professional from Benefit. This one is the hydrating one. They have the original, the hydrating one, and they also have a pearl, like luminizing one. It's pink, but this one works really well if you have dry skin. The professional is really good at blurring out your pores, so it does that, plus it hydrates. I just have a little bitty guy of it. If you guys are makeup lovers or Jeffree Star watchers, I'm sure you've seen the primer from e.l.f. be reviewed. This primer is actually really good. I've used quite a bit of it. It does a good job at just smoothing everything out. The texture is different than a lot of the other primers. You barely just put any and it just feels so like velvety smooth. I don't know what's in this. This has a lot of product in it so it'll last you a long time. Bar Cooper, I'm putting the products on my couch as I go and they're getting closer and closer to him so he's like scooting further back to sleep on my couch. Okay, um, a couple more things. The Too Faced Chocolate Soule, I feel like this is an oldie but a goodie. I think it smells so good if you want a bronzer that smells like chocolate. You can't go wrong with this. It isn't orange at all. It is matte. I think it works really well for contouring as well. A shape tape from Tarte. A lot of people have said mixed things about this product. A lot of people say it's cakey, it's drying. The applicator is insanely big, but I think it's really good. I do think if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes, this probably won't work good for you because I feel like it does sit in the crease, but I don't have any, you know, wrinkles underneath my eyes, so I don't have that problem. It is drying, but I feel like if you have a good hydrating primer underneath, you're solid. And then my favorite brow product will forever be the Anastasia Brow Products. I like the Brow Wiz. This one is the Brow Definer, so this one is thicker than the brow is. I think it helps if you like your brows thicker than normal, which I do. So it helps you to get that thickness. This is a miscellaneous product, but I got this from Ulta. You can get these at TJ Maxx and whatever, but I highly recommend one of these little spa headbands. This one has a hole, so if you have your hair in a ponytail, you can just put it through the ponytail but it just comes up like this in Velcros. And you use it to put your hair back when you're washing your face. And this one is the Get Stitch brand from Ulta, but I think these are really good to use. I mean, you can use like a headband or whatever, but I like how it has a spot before. If you have your hair back, you just put it through there. But that's all I have, guys. Really long video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you.